Hello, my friend. Today we will edit this image into Luminar Neo. Right now we are in Lightroom. I just want to show you really quick. I shot this with my A1 Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens. Shot at f 6.3, so right open. 1 320 of a second shutter speed and ISO 640. Now, because the ISO is a little bit high, it's not too high for my A1, it can handle it, but I would like to take it into Topaz Denoise just to remove the noise from my image because I hate grainy images. And this is a simple way to do that, to fix it. So, we are opening Topaz Denoise. Um, as the program is opening, I'm going to give you a little bit of a uh, story about Eddie the chipmunk. He is a chipmunk I've been feeding in my garden for over two years. And now he is finally so friendly that he comes and feeds from my hand. And he is very, very cute. And I get to take lots of lots of pictures of him. So here is our image. Uh, if you've seen me use Topaz Denoise before, then you know I like to use it on standard. I keep it on manual mode and leave remove noise and enhance sharpness at 15. And that seems to give me a really good result pretty much 99% of the time. If you want a video about Topaz Denoise and how to use it and all the sliders and all that, let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. But for my purposes, this is the way I use it. There you go. Now our image should be noise free. I am going to zoom in at 100%. Let's go 200% just so you can see the difference. So this is our image with no noise and this is our image with noise previously. So that is the before and that is the after. Now let's go back to our no, no, no noise image, fit to screen and we will take it to Luminar Neo. But before we will take it to Luminar Neo, I just want to quickly crop this image because this is the raw image and I needed a little bit tighter shot because I like to really see my little friend here. And I think something like that will be very interesting. I do not want to move him anymore like this towards the center because I do like these details or, or the bark that he was sitting on. So something like that, I think it will be pretty good. Maybe not quite as, there you go, something like that. And now we will go to, of course, Luminar Neo. And you guys have seen me edit chipmunk photos and Luminar Neo before. And this time to make it a little bit different, I am going to put more focus into the color grading part of it. And that is by using overlays. And I will take you through a few steps on doing a better job with that. But first, let's do our just basic editing. I am into the edit module and I will start with develop. First, I would like to raise the shadows a little bit just to get a little bit uh, more details into the shadows. I will add a little bit of contrast and then go into the black and whites. I will move the whites. I will click J on my keyboard to turn on my clipping warnings and then I'll move the whites until I almost clip the highlights. If you do not know how to use your histogram and your clipping warnings, I did make a video about that, I believe yesterday or two days ago. So our white point is pretty good right now. And then I will move the blacks just a little bit down just to create a little bit more contrast. J again to hide my clipping warnings. And you know what, you guys, every time I order a photo, I do mean to hide my dock over here and I always forget. So let's do that since I already forgot for this episode. So to do that, I will have to do Control Command F and that will hide that and we are entering full screen and that should be less distracting for you. I want to give you the full experience. So let's move on with our edit. Uh, we did our develop. Uh, next, I want to add a little bit more of this sketch light because I do want my um, wildlife to really have a good catch light. I think it brings more life into them and makes them a little bit more interesting. So for that, I want to zoom into 100% and to do so, you will click Command 1 and now we are zoomed it 100% and we will go to Develop, I will go to White and I will increase the White, click J so I can see my clipping warnings and you see we are not clipping on the eye, only on the eyebrow a little bit. So I think that is good and then I will use my mask, my mask brush and I will paint it just on 
the catch light because that's what I want to bring out. I do not want to paint it over the old eye because I want this to be black. I do not want to end up with a gray eye chipmunk. So, J again to hide the wor clipping warnings. Then command zero to fit to screen and this is our before and after, before and after. It just brightens up a little bit and just makes your eye go towards his eye. You know what they say, the eye is the window to the soul. So we need to see that. Great, we took care of that. Now, I think my chipmunk is looking pretty good. I will go into color a little bit and I will go to the HSL and I want to maybe shift the hue of the oranges a little bit towards the left, towards the red, a little bit of the yellows more towards oranges. And maybe I will go to the saturation and I will increase the orange saturation a little bit. I don't want to make him too orange, something like that. Maybe a little bit of the yellow. And then we can even go to luminance and brighten the oranges a little bit. Maybe brighten the yellows. And let's see, this is our before and after this adjustment, before and after. And I think that looks better. Maybe onto the saturation, I want to bring out the pink a little bit over his nose and his mouth. So that would be into the red. So you see, if you move it all the way, you'll get really pink. But I just want a little bit, something like that. Great. Command zero. Oh, we are already fit to screen. He just looks so big now that I have full screen. And our whole image edit so far, this is the before, this is the after, before and after. Maybe we went a little bit too far with that orange saturation. So go back into the saturation. Um, in fact, we have to go back to our edits and go into the color. And over here into the HSL, maybe I want to bring the saturation or the oranges and the reds just a little bit down because I think we went a little bit too much. I hit turned a little bit too orange. So something like that. Go back into the tools and now we are getting to my favorite part of editing, which is color grading. I will go into my layer panel over here, click on plus, and I will use just the basic color layer. Now I did create this layer into Photoshop. If you double click on it, it will open as a layer. I will increase the opacity to 100%. This layer I created in Photoshop, but you do not need to use Photoshop or any other program. You can just take your camera, put it on manual focus, walk around your house and find anything of a color that you like. It could be your couch, your tablecloth, your chair, your flooring, anything that you like. Take a blurry picture of it so you do not get texture on it unless you want to add texture to your image. Take a very blurry photo of it so it's just the color. Now, even if you took a picture of a color that you don't necessarily love or is not the right color for your image, that is okay. You only need one image of kind of like a medium tone color and then in your color, um, color section over here, you can change the color of your overlay. The first tool I like to use is Hue Shift and this will just shift the hue to you know, give me the color I want to work with. So for this image, because my chipmunk is orange, I want to work with the blue because that's just the complementary color of orange. So once I choose the blue, then I can, you know, increase or decrease the saturation. I can change the hue of the blue, make it more cyan or more purple. I can work with the luminance of my blue if I want to make it lighter or darker. You can also um, add white or black to it, you know, just go into your develop. You can pretty much edit this as any other image and change it to whatever color you're dreaming of, pretty much. So in my case, I will choose this blue and then I will go to adjustment and then I will go to layer properties and I will change the blending mode to one of these three usually, overlay, soft light, or hard light. In this case, we will use soft light. And you can see my background just became so much more blue. This is the before, this is the after. Now, I do not want this to affect my chipmunk, so I will mask that out. But 
before I do that, I just want to show you one more thing when you have your color. So for me, you saw I changed the color while the blending mode was a normal, so I can see exactly what color I'm working with. Pick the right color and then change the blending mode. I'm going to reset this and my favorite way of do using this tool is that increasing the opacity to 100%, changing the blending mode to soft light, and then I would go to color and shift the hue and then I can see it real life on my image how it's getting affected. So I will go with this blue and then of course I will go to layer property and now I can use my masking to brush out the blue out of my chipmunk. I will erase it, make sure you're on erase because I really do not want to have a blue chipmunk. So I will carefully just go around the edges the more time you spend on creating your mask, the better result you will have. But because this is a tutorial and I don't want you guys to have to wait here for, you know, two hours for me to really make my mask, I will try to do it pretty quickly. So let's see, I'm going to increase my brush and erase the effect from my little chipmunk. I also want to erase the effect from the log because the log should not be blue. And that maybe go on the ears a little bit because it does have beautiful reddish ears. And something like that. And now let's see our image. This is the before, this is the after, before and after, and just a lot better, more pleasing uh, look to it. Now this overlay, it's a little bit too strong, so go into your opacity and bring it down to something that looks pleasing to you. And now when I look at my image, it does bother me this purple splash over here right behind him. So I need to take care of that because that would really bother me. So I will go to color with your overlay layer selected. And then that we have to go to the saturation and go to our purple and desaturate it a little bit. And that takes some of it off. Let's try the blue. Um, I don't want to take the blue from everywhere away. I'll just go with the purple, but then I will go to my hue and change the purple towards more blue. And that helped a little bit. Let's see, this is the before and after, before and after, before and after. That really toned it down a little bit. So let's see our image from the beginning. This is our before. This is our after. Before I sign off, you guys, I just want to remind you that Luminar uh, Skyloom do have their big uh, summer sales right now. So if you're thinking about purchasing Luminar Neo, please do use the links in the description below. It does, it does help the channel a lot. And um, yes, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you in my next video.